Hey family, God bless you. So recently I was just shared with some information that there's some false accusations going around about me. And I've been seeing this a lot lately um, in the body, which just hurts me a lot because it, it, it saddens me. It really does. It sickens me. Like, I, I, I hate to see this. It, it's, but as we know, our battle is not against flesh and blood. It is, is against the enemy, wicked spirits, and high places. And if we're going to battle against spirits, we have to use spiritual weapons and not carnal weapons. So first of all, I just want everybody to know that this is not my battle. This is not my battle. I'm not worried about it. I'm not. But the Lord has put it on my heart to address a few things because I don't want anybody to be led astray because of someone who is choosing to be a stumbling block. So I want to share this vision with you that the Lord gave to me before I even was given this information today. So earlier, I saw a huge anaconda, a serpent before me with his mouth open to eat me, to try to devour me. Then a warrior in armor came and grabbed it from behind. Stepping on his body, he pulled his head back and wrapped a rope around the neck and the head of the snake, binding up his mouth shut. Then he tossed it behind him. Mm. I then saw the warrior in armor pull out a mighty sword and hand it over to me. I took hold of it and I knew to raise it up high. I rose it up above me and asked God to charge it up and to set it ablaze with his spirit and his power. It then was struck by lightning and set on fire. I then saw the snake again still bound up and I knew to thrust the sword into the top of the head of the snake. I stabbed it with the sword into the head and I cut it off. I knew this was a sign of victory being claimed. So the Lord was telling me that I was that I already had the victory in this battle before I even knew that I was fighting this battle because our God fights our battles, battles that you can't even see. That's how I know how good my God is. So anyway, what I wanted to address on here was that there's this guy, this this channel called Adam House that apparently is accusing me of leading people falsely, being a false prophet, being an antichrist, which is not true because I'm I'm doing this by using orbs in my videos. So in past videos you can clearly see there are particles floating around in the video. Whether they're orbs or not you you could be the judge of that. I don't really follow the whole orb thing because I'm not into the occult. So I don't really know too much about it. But from what I do know is that some people believe they're spirits. Some people believe that they're angels, good or bad. Could, who knows? But what I do know is that the word clearly, clearly proves that there are locations 
where there are open heavens, where there, where there are portals open into the heaven, into the spirit realm, through visitations of God, through the manifestation of God and the spirit, where there are things that are able to be seen, there are visitations and, and manifestations that are clear for people to see. What I believe is that 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 is what you have what you see in these videos in these specific videos because in that location was in my old house and in my old house in my bedroom where I used to make my videos that was a a place where I got on my knees many times where I worship my God in spirit and truth, where I pray my heart out in intercession for people, where I invited the, the Holy Spirit to come and 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 sit to, to come and be with me that I can be in the presence of God. So it's not a surprise that manifestations of that happen. I saw, I see the, the particles or orbs, whatever you want to call them, because I watch my videos before I send them out to make sure that there's nothing that I, that I miss because I care about the messages that the Lord is sending for me, sending through me, speaking through me, and I care about the people that are receiving them. I want them to receive the blessings that God has to give through these messages. So I would not see, I would never, ever speak falsely to someone. And you can see by the fruit that I don't do that. Because Matthew 7, 15 to 20 says, Beware of the false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravenous wolves. You will know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? Even so, every good tree bears good fruit, but a bad tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a bad tree bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Therefore, by their fruits you will know them. You can clearly see from all my videos that I bear good fruit. Because the spirit of revelation is is what is 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 the is what leads to God is what is is what reveals Jesus Christ. That is that is the whole point of revelation. I know I messed up that that scripture right there, but the whole point of revelation from Jesus from God is to reveal. Jesus Christ is to lead to Jesus Christ. All the spirit of revelation leads to Christ. It leads people to Jesus. And you can see everything that I speak of, that I share, will lead you to Jesus Christ. What does the word say? The word says that you have to test the spirits. You know people that are of God by who says that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh. And I have made that clear that I believe that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh. That is my foundation. I am planted firmly in that soil. You guys need to, I, I plead to you that you stop listening to these people that are leading you astray because the Lord told me, and I shared this plenty of times before in other videos, that there are dogs sent out of the, of, of the pit of hell and these dogs are false Christians. They are people that are telling you that they're telling you the truth and they're leading you astray away from God's truth, taking away your blessings. That is what the enemy is here to do. He's come to steal, kill, and destroy. He wants to steal your blessings. He wants to take away the things that God is trying to give you through his servants. That's what we're here to do. I came on here to... to edify the body to raise up his mighty warriors to build up his church not to make friends not to get subscriptions i don't care about that 
I came on here to be obedient and to do the will of my Father, to do the work that Jesus Christ has sent me to do. He's this guy also is saying, claiming that I'm best buddies with one of the, the Matthew brothers. Yeah, I know. I, I heard all the things that, that people have said that about, about these Matthews. I've seen the videos that they made accusing people and yada, yada, yada. But I'm not getting in all that mess. I don't even know him like that. Like, you can, yeah, there's a few times in videos where he has, con I mean, yeah, he comments on my videos a lot. And, and there's a few times where I have commented back saying amen to the word, the truth of word that he, that he shares from the Bible. And I, and I have, I have commented back to him a few times, but that does not make me best buddies with anybody. Like, I don't know, I don't even, I don't know him like that. So that's therefore a lie right there that this guy says, oh, we're, I know these, these two guys are buddies. My man, you're, you're lying. The devil is a liar. Don't do the devil's work. You're doing the devil's work for him. You're making it easy for him. And I rebuke those false accusations right now in the name of Jesus because... I know who my God is. And if my God is for me, what can stand against me? Who could stand against me? I stand in his strength and I'm justified by my faith in him. I don't have to fight this battle. And as you clearly see, I already won. I already had the victory through Jesus because we have victory in Jesus. So Isaiah 54, 17 says, No weapon that is fashioned against you shall succeed, and you shall confute every tongue that rises against you in judgment. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their vindication from me, declares the Lord. And Matthew 5, 11 says, Blessed are you when others revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. So thank you, you false accus accusers, excuse me, because you're sending blessings to me because you're because of your false accusations against me on his account, on God's account. I'm receiving blessings from that. So thank you. God bless every one of you. I pray for mercy for everyone because the Lord says to love your enemies, love those who curse you. So I, I, I love you in Christ. I send love to you. I send mercy to you in Jesus mighty name. I pray that, that, that you would see the error in your ways, that you would see the real truth. And I pray that those who are listening to this stuff, that you would take it to the Lord that you would ask for discernment, that he would show you, that he would reveal to you what is truth and what is not. I thank you for those who, who understand this battle that we're going through because that's what it is right now. The enemy is doing anything and everything possible to try to take out those that are doing the will of God, that are, that are trying to usher in the kingdom of heaven into this world, that are trying to build up these warriors for God, that are trying to edify the body, that are, that are speaking truth. He is trying to knock us off, but it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen because... What the will of the Father is, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. It doesn't matter what you try to do, Satan. It doesn't matter because you've already, you've already been beaten. Jesus has already defeated you. And I want you to know that. 
because I fear no evil. I love you. God bless you. And I'll talk with you soon.